This video is brought to you by the 18-in-1 Survival Kit. This grab-and-go kit contains some tools that'll come in handy if you get hit from out of the blue by the unexpected. You got a compass, cold steel tactical knife, wire saw for cutting wood or bone, water bottle clip, emergency blanket, fire starter, flintstone, a three-mode flashlight, credit card knife, tactical pen, whistle, mini light, carabiner, paracord bracelet, and a thermal blanket all in one waterproof case. Grab one or two of them from the link in the description. Okay, before I cover this real quick, and I, I can't even believe I'm covering this, I'm, I saw this on a post under the comment section, and somebody named this operation, and I thought it was a joke. But I'm going to cover it. And before I do, before I pull up the screen here, I want to ask you a question. Are you really against vaccines? Are you against government subsidized, taxpayer funded, pharmaceutical benefiting, Bill Gates supported vaccines? Now, let me ask you this question. Are you for or against Donald Trump? Were you for or against Barack Obama? Do you suffer from cognitive dissonance? Are you trying to hold two mutually exclusive and diametrically opposed ideas or beliefs in your mind at the same time? I don't know what your answers were to my question, but I want you to check this out right here. Using my little flashlight here. Trump administration launches an operation to accelerate development of coronavirus. And let me, I'm just going to pick one of these. It's it's reported by The Hill, New York Times, all the mainstream fake stream media sources. The Hill, New York Times, CNN, Reuters, U.S. News and World Report. Let's just go to, let's go to U.S. News. Look what the name of this operation is. Move this over here. Trump administration to speed coronavirus vaccine development. Remember when Trump said, yeah, you gotta take your shots, you gotta take your vaccines. They have to get the shot. The vaccinations are so important. This is really going around now. They have to get their shots. The Trump administration is planning to speed up development of a coronavirus vaccine with the goal of having 100 million doses ready by the end of 2020 a senior administration official said today on Wednesday. The official declined to be publicly identified. Executives and other experts have previously suggested that clinical trials to guarantee a vaccine is safe and effective could take a minimum of 12 to 18 months. Several agencies within the Department of Health and Human Services announced plans earlier in April to partner with more than 15 drug companies, Big Pharma, the biotech companies, Follow the money, ask the question, key bono, who benefits, as well as European regulators in an effort to spur development of vaccines and treatment for the disease that they've never proven exists. <laughs> wait, wait till you hear the name of the operation. I know some of you probably already know because some of you told me. And when you said, when you told me, and when I saw the comments under my video, I'm like, no way. No, it, it, could, it can't be this blatant. And if this is true, there's no way people are going to still be for Trump after this. The latest Trump administration efforts to speed vaccine development were originally reported by Bloomberg News, citing people familiar with the matter, called Operation Warp Speed. The project will join private pharmaceutical companies with government agencies and the military. They're all in bed together, guys. We've known this. And now they're just putting it in our faces. Look, see, there's nothing you can do about it. We're going to get the vaccine going. You're going to have to have vaccine certifications. We're going to make 100 million now. And according to what Bill Gates just said recently on CNN, they're going to make they're going to get 7 billion doses. That's right, a dose for every person on the planet. He's going to make sure everybody gets their vaccine so they can be tracked through ID 2020. Called Operation Warp Speed, the project will join private pharmaceutical companies with government agencies and the military in trying to cut the development time for a vaccine by as much as eight months. It said a White House meeting 
on the project was scheduled for Wednesday. Last month, President Donald Trump directed Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar to speed development of a vaccine, and administration officials have been meeting on the effort for three to four weeks, the report added. I'm, I'm just going to end there, guys. Operation Warp Speed. Are you really still for Master Trump? You know, people were checked out. You, you guys who are for Trump now, you call people who are for Obama and the, the signing of the NDAA and the re-signing of the Patriot Act under Obama. You said, oh, that's, that's tyranny. This is a tyrant. He's acting in a despotic manner, and you were right. But then Trump comes along, does the same thing. Resigns the National Defense Authorization Act that gives government agencies the quote-unquote right to imprison Americans without charge, trial, or due process of law. Refreshed the NDRP, which is the National Defense Resources Preparedness Act. Resigned the Patriot Act, just like Obama did. Silence. It's crickets. Kind of like the crickets you hear in the background right now. It's crickets for Trump. Because everybody who supports Trump that was against Obama for the exact same thing are just nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. And that's why our country and our world is going down. Because people are not going to stand fast on and hold firm to the truth. I, I don't even know what to say, guys. Operation Warp Speed. Donald Trump accelerating the facilitation of government-funded taxpayer supported they're going to steal our money so they can inject us with this this soupy mixture of government subsidized chemical poisons and baby body parts and trump's accelerating it through operation warp speed i don't even know what to say leave your thoughts about this for the world and the google thought police in the comments section below i really want to know your thoughts on this and let me know are you still hanging with trump after he signed a 6.2 trillion dollar Bailout? Oh, sorry. Was it stimulus? No, it's a bailout. Corporate slash banker bailout. $6.2 trillion. And now you're still going to be on board. You're against Bill Gates because he wants to vaccinate everybody. But you're not going to be against Trump for Operation Warp Speed. What what has the world come to? I, I don't even know. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys maybe in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.